afternoon from Shandong province. Welcome to CGTN. I'm Yang Xinmeng and I am currently live in Dezhou city in Shandong province. Today is October the 3rd. It is the third day of the eight day long national day holiday and it's also the third day of our China Express program. So me and my colleagues are taking four major high speed railways in China to show you the beautiful sceneries outside the windows and also uh, the fascinating culture along the way. I left Beijing this morning and I took the uh, Beijing Shanghai High Speed Railway uh, to Shanghai. Uh, this is my first stop, Dezhou City. So Dezhou uh, is also known as the transportation hub and also the gateway to Beijing in uh, in the past, in, in ancient times. It may not be a big city as you commonly know, but uh, from as far as I saw, it's a beautiful city, very quiet. It's an ancient city. and. Uh, to my surprise, we are here in the north side of the uh, Dezhou city, and to my surprise, here locates a uh, tomb of a foreign king. It's a tomb of the East King of the ancient Su Lu. It is also the only intact foreign king's tomb uh, with descendants as gravekeepers here in China. It has a history of over 600 years, and it also marks the trace of the history of our history when the country, when China used to uh, use Grand Canal uh, to make political, uh, economic, and cultural ch exchanges with other countries. So here behind me is the entrance of the uh, Sulu Culture Museum. It's also uh, so behind the hall. There are there are three halls in, in the courtyard. Behind the hall locates the uh, two of the Sulu King. Um, I'm here uh, with a special guest. I invited her to join us to give us a better introduction of the museum. Hello, Hello this Hello. is Zhang Qiuyue, Ms. Zhang Qiuyue. Yes. He, she works here in the museum. Thank you so much for joining us. It's my precious. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. So can you tell us a little bit more about this museum? Okay, the ancient Sulu located in the Sulu Island mm -hmm. in the Ming Dynasty, 1470s. Three kings, the East King Badu Bahala and the West King Mahala Shikamadin, and the tongue is Badu Gabalab. They laid oh my over... God, how can you how can you remember all those names? <laughs> yes, they laid over 340 people in big mission to visit the Ming Dynasty. Okay. And after seven days stay in Beijing, they began to their country. But unfortunately, after the East King came to the Dezhou, mm -hmm. he died with his illness. So okay. the Ming Dynasty Emperor Yong Le is very sadly and buried him in, the, in this and the, to uh, leave 10 people to keep the brief. And this villager is the, his descendant villagers, Beiyong oh, villagers. So it's a descendant village. So yes. all the descendants of the uh, Sulu king, they still live here? Yes, Beiyong villager. Beiyong village, yes. wow. So like 600 years ago, can you imagine 600 years ago in Philippines Island, um, mm -hmm. That's like the smallest country in the world at that time. And they led a delegation of over 340 people. That's like uh, the biggest delegation group at that time yeah. to visit the Emperor Zhu Di yes. in Ming Dynasty. Mm -hmm. Wow, that's that's really, that, really that, that is a, a witness of the friendship between amazing. ancient China and ancient Sulu. That's amazing. So yes. here is the uh, Sulu Wang Mu in Chinese. In 1888, the, the tomb was announced as the National Cultural Relax Protection Unions by mm -hmm. the State Council. Yeah, so we are here going to explore the relic today to show you around the museum and also the tomb. Yeah. But you said, um, so Ming Dynasty, the Emperor Zhu Di mm -hmm. uh, gave him a, like a royal funeral here, yeah. buried him here, uh, spoke highly of him. Uh, he also, also wrote an inscription, right? Yes, inscription still. And look at this. Oh, it's over here. The monument. I did some research online and uh, I saw this big monument. It is like the uh, most well-preserved relic yes. in this museum, right? Yes, it most have the oh. historical value and the uh, relaxed value. It's very precious and protects very well by the past oh. uh, dynasties. And the emperor himself wrote it? Yes. Oh. It's very So we can solid. take a better, uh, a closer shot? Yes. What is this uh, statue? It looks like a, a, a turtle to me. Yeah, it is called Bi Xi. Uh, according to the legend, it is the ninth son of dragon, and mm -hmm. he has a chi. He has very strong, he can uh, hurry the big objects on the band, oh. and uh, it's meaning some lucky and uh, longevity. Some turtles came here, I saw this, want to touch it to bless for themselves. 
And plus for longevity. Yeah, can to the sound. Oh, that's why you that's why you lock it here to better preserve it. So this is actually uh, this is from six hundred years ago. Yes. It's the ninth son. It's a legend. Animal. It's the uh, ninth son of. Yes. Right, and it, it's carrying the. Yes. Uh, I can't see right now because it. Uh, I mean, it's six hundred years old, but I can see uh, some words. Okay. Uh, it says uh, it's speaking it's, highly of the Zulu king, saying he is extremely smart and beyond ordinary. And what else does it say? Uh, this contents test contains about six hundred seventy-seven words to wow. tell us the background, the East King visit to China, and uh, the how to be warmly reception by the Ming Dynasty, okay. and the whole process about his dies. Okay. From the land, uh, Ming Dynasty Yongle mm -hmm. to explore his admiration and respect for the East King, wow. and uh, confer his make the big contribution to promote exactly. the friendship yeah. between the two Absolutely. countries. So, like historical background a little bit, and then the grand ceremony yeah. of his visit, and also the entitlement. Yes, right. Uh, In the wow. end of land, they said even the East King died, but his spirits were going down back in generations. He always lies in our heart. Oh, he lives forever in our heart. Yeah. So does it say um, uh, the Sulu King is bringing uh, brought? Glory to their own country, to the Sulu country, by yeah. his visit. Yes, his glory back his countries and his uh, some contributions to uh, to write by the historical. Oh wow! So let's uh, me, please. careful. Yeah. Uh, I'm talking to my cameraman because he's walking <laughs> backwards here. So this is like the hallway to the to the real museum, right? This called uh, we were walking on uh, Shinto, Shinto on the tomb road. It's with the ten meters wide, about forty hundred eighteen meters length, okay. and besides standing seven pairs of stairs, stairs. Oh, so uh, they seven always pairs of mean that the stairs relax. Oh, so these seven pairs of stone statues. Uh, shi shi. Shi, shi shi, that's a stone line over there, and then this is Hua Biao, a stone statue. Uh, that's a stone tiger, stone, stone sheep, pe stone, and people. stone hu people, human, stone horse, and, and uh, that's Zhuang Zhong. Wang Zhong. Yeah. Wang Zhong. Ah, so what does this mean? Seven pairs of stone statues. Uh, they stand here for about six hundred the three years already. Six hundred and yeah. three years. After the, the ups and downs, they always vivid and vivid. They reflect the main density artist characters. Uh -huh. And uh, in the fatal societies, after the king died, mm -hmm. they were to be buried by the highest standards of lawyers. So this means the standard yeah. of the. Uh, of the uh, his tomb, right? Yes. After Yi King died, means that they titled his Gong Ding King, Gong Ding King, buried him as the lawyer standards. Wow. So he gave a um, name of a Chinese king's name, Gong Ding, Gong Ding King. Yes. That's a very high standard mm -hmm. in ancient China. Mm -hmm. And here it is a mask. It is a mask here. Yeah, it's uh, mask. Islamic mask. It's for because, Muslim. Mm -hmm. uh, why is it here? Because the East Kings, they located in the Sulu Island, they is a uh, um, Islamic uh, emirate. Oh, okay. So, so the uh, Ming that they the want Philippines to, Island, yeah, yeah, they're still Islamic state. The Ming that they want to their descendants to keep their brief, to try to to brief, uh, uh, especially to, maintain, to build this mosque in in this. Yeah, to maintain their religious belief. Yes. That's a uh, highly respect. Uh, so it's still in use, right? It's still in use by the villagers yes. here, by the descendants. Yes, the Hui Nation festival is always mm -hmm. celebrating in days. Oh, the Hui ethnic minority they yes. live here. Mm -hmm. uh, the village, the village people, villagers, they still pay um, pray here pray in a mosque. in this. Okay, and here it is it's another called, garden. Uh, this is called Double Previous Park. They the buried devil. the East King's wife Gu Muining <gasps> and his second son Wen Hala and the third son Andulu's tomb in this, three tomb oh, in this. I can remember these two names. <laughs> <laughs> Wen Hala and Andulu. 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 Those are his, king, uh, his son's names. Yes. And also 
his wife, Ge mm -hmm. Muning, Ge Muning, right? So three tombs in there, but why don't they bury them with the king together? Because the original architecture is in the same place, mm -hmm. but later they built some buildings. Uh, so some people think to celebrate them, but they oh. are still one places. So they're not actually separated. They're still together in the same yard, but yeah. it's just the museum is newly built. It was in uh, it was built in 1986, right? Yeah. <laughs> Reno yes. Renovated in 1986. Uh, okay. And uh, the yard, I also read from the <laughs> information that um, the yard is called Double Pavilion um, Park. Um, it's because there are two pavilions yes, in Chinese the park. And Islam. Yeah, one Chinese style and one Islamic style. Yes. So here, this is the entrance of the uh, museum. Yes, Ling -en that is the Ling An Hall. Oh, this is the Ling An Gate. Ling -en Gate. What does Ling An mean here? Because Ling calls from the Ling calls name Ling An Gate. Oh, Ling An Hall. That's Ling An Hall. Yes. Ling An Gate. Yes. And here is the courtyard. Mm -hmm. uh, we have three halls here, as you can see. Ling An Hall, West Hall, and the East Hall. Really? I'm sure, I think this this one, is, I'm assuming, this one is the uh, main hall, yes. the most important one because, I mean, it's right in front of, <laughs> yes. if right in front of us. Yes. So, uh, what, does it, what does it have there? Uh, they to tell us the background, they went to China, and mm -hmm. how to they died, and how to the village countries formed. Oh, so historic background. Yes. Yeah, let's go in and, okay. and check with that. It's very quiet. It's very quiet. Yeah. A king, just a king is sleeping behind the hall. Yes, that is I remember yeah. original architecture's layout. Wow. So this one is, I mean, the original uh, architect, the original building was built 600 years ago, it's right? Locations. In just in this location, yes. and then it's what it was rebuilt. Rebuilt, yeah. Rebuilt on the same location. Yeah. Oh, Ling An Hall. Ling An Hall. <laughs> okay, let's go in. Yeah. This is his portrait, right? Yeah. And he's wearing a, an ancient Chinese costume. This is portraits of the East King. Mm -hmm. He began to their countries Ming Dynasty office to join this, and he wears Ming Dynasty governance clothes, mm -hmm. and he very concerned and brave. And this is uh, to made by the original one three times bigger than this, oh. and used Chinese nation, the Dezhou nation, uh, golden wire skiggers. Golden wire skiggers. Oh, know, so this they? is the decoration here. This is gold. Yeah. Oh, it's really beautiful, and he's handsome. <laughs> he's really handsome. The original portrait is put at war in the Shandu Province Museum. Oh, it's not here. Mm -hmm. So this this one is three times bigger than that one. Yeah, it made oh, wow. in 2007, 2007. Seven years. Oh, this, this is new. So this is the preface, the prelude, right? Yes. So the exhi exhibition starts here and all the way to, to that end. Yeah. Um, I'm looking at this. This, this is, is the, the uh, this is the route of the navy to the Sulu to China. We can choose say the, the Sulu location and uh, the visit how how many countries arrived in the, so they arrived in China. Mm -hmm. It spent two and a half months on the ocean. Two and a half months. Yeah. That's a long way to go from Philippines because you know at that time six hundred years ago in fourteen seventeen we yeah. don't have any faster. Yeah, we don't have any faster ways. We don't have airplanes. We don't have high speed trains. Yeah. We can only take this. This uh, to, it's it's oh, a boat like this, fleet. right? The fleet. The sailing boat. The sailing boat like this. So they were taking boats like this. Like how many what? how many boats were were in the fleet? Oh, um, I, 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 don't, <laughs> I um, don't know, but uh, his boat but is very yeah, big, big, big. <laughs> The fleet carries over 340 people, yeah. the delegation team. So they travel from Sulu, it's over there, all the way on the ocean. Uh, they stop, they have several stops. Yeah. And then oh. to Guangzhou, Quanzhou in southern part of China. And then they were traveling uh, through the Grand Canal, right? Yeah, canal. Grand Canal in uh, to Beijing. To Beijing. Here, this is within China. So from Quanzhou, Fuzhou, and then Yangzhou, Nanjing, all the way up to the north. Dezhou is in the, uh, at the upper part. 
and then Beijing is their destination. So how long did they um, stay in Beijing? They stayed in Beijing 27 days. 27 days, wow. They tracked by the, tra the Chinese traditional customers oh. and to, to learn something about how to uh, govern the countries how by Brown so the Emperor. To, to learn some experience from our great uh, yes. <laughs> emperor. Yes. And that is a, a movie? Uh, yeah. That's the grand reception held by uh, Ming Emperor Zhu Di to welcome the delegation. Yes. This is a, a film called Operate between China and Philippines. In 1986, they, they post the history to the moving. Some mm -hmm. people to know the history between the two countries. That's very, that's very interesting. Yes. So here is, it talks about his mm -hmm. death. Very unfortunately, so did he die here in Dozhou? No, he dies in the Anling, Anling villages. In the mean that the Anling belong to China, belong to Dezhou, but now he belong to uh, Hebei, Hebei province. province. Yes. Okay. So, but, After but Dezhou the, was a rich place, right? Yeah. During that time. Uh, Dezhou is a very famous tradition, uh, tra transportation country, because hub. in the west is the um, Beijing, Hangzhou, the Grand Canal, Canal. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. the Grand Canal and yeah. transportation hub, and also it's the gateway to Beijing. Yes. It protects Beijing yes. here. Um, After the East King died, the Minister Yong Le gave the funeral oration to his officer. Mm -hmm. Then they the come to Dezhou to bury the East Kings. The oration? Yeah, oration here. Oh, this one. Okay, so they brought this oration up from the uh, Emperor Zhu Di yes. to Dezhou. Yeah. Okay, and what is this? It is the inscription. Inscription was the imperial steel, just we saw in oh, on the monument. Yes, oh, it's the same thing. Okay. Some words. And here is a family tree, right? Family tree of the uh, the royal. Elder son. Uh huh. The elder son, because uh, three three son came to China, and his elder son go back to their country to inherit his throne. Okay. It's so Du Ma Han. Du Ma Han. So he is. Let me guess. He is the brother of. Prince Andulu and Wenhala, Wen Wenhala, I can his remember brothers, those two names. His yeah. So their eldest son uh, went back to succeed uh, the king, right? Yeah. To and their countries. To their country. And there are still. Uh, 33 generations already in 33 Sulu. generations. They're yeah. still passed on. Yeah. Right? Um, but Sulu, right now, Sulu is not a kingdom anymore. Yeah. Sulu now is Sulu province in the Philippines. In the Philippines yes. island. He always to generation to generation, mm -hmm. but they have no policy power. Oh, but they still pass on the, like, I mean, the, there are still princess. Yeah, princess. Prince. Okay. This is some record of Sulu, Sulu. King, Sulu country in yeah. China yes. from ancient times. Yeah. Uh, and this is the development of the village. Yeah. of the grave keeping villagers. So I have a question here. So yeah. the descendants in Sulu country, the Sulu kingdom, mm -hmm. they are still passing on generations by generations yes. their their status. Mm -hmm. But what about those descendants who were left in Dezhou in China? Uh, they were left here. Now and then, I want to introduce a princess for you. A princess, <laughs> yeah. wow. An Jing. An Jing. Thank you Hello. so much. Ni hao, ni hao. Ni hao. She, oh. she is the 19th generation of East King in China. He always worked in our museum. Oh my god, a princess, a, um, a princess from the uh, Sulu kingdom in China. So, An Jing Lao Shi, Nin, um, we can go. 大家问个好，所以就是您如果现在在苏禄的话，还在菲律宾的话，您现在是一个十公主对吧？是那个十九代孙。对，十九代后裔。哦，十九代后裔。但是现在在这边主要做什么工作？呃，我的主要工作就是
her family, her family story, and to tell the to tell the story to the world, and also preserve the history and let more people to know about it. You can give us a introduction to this. 后羿现在、啊、现在是一个什么样的情况？在这个北营村、啊、有多少人？啊、呃，现在生活在北营村的后裔呢，是大概有温安二姓哈，是三百多口人、嗯。那么现在全国来说呢，是大概有三千七百多口人。So there are over three hundred people, the descendants、uh, from the、uh, Sulu king. They're still living here in Dezhou in the Beiying village. But、uh, nationwide in China, there are over three thousand seven hundred people、uh, living in China,、嗯、and they're doing all kinds of business. 他们主要是从事什么行业？呃，主要因为现在呢，因为当时明朝的时候呀， oh. 那个东王葬在德州之后呢， mm. 呃，有留下来守墓的，像王妃和两位王子留下来守墓。Mm. 当时的明朝的政府特别的照顾，呃，在济南的历城这个地方呢，特别调拨过来姓夏、姓马、姓陈的三姓的这样回族来侍奉他们的生活，和他们一起生活。Mm. 那个慢慢的呢，就是当两位王子啊长大之后。Mm. 和当地的这些回族姑娘们通婚， oh. 就是生息繁衍，代代相传，那么形成这个守灵村落了。那么当时的时候有这种那个祭田啊、耕地， mm. 那到了后期呢，慢慢的就是呃，就是没有这些耕地了哈。Mm. 那么这个后裔呢，就是从事各行各业，什么行业都有，什么行业都有。嗯嗯 So the princess just told me that、uh, 600 years ago,、uh, Emperor Zhu Di、um, spoke highly of these villagers, the, these descendants, and、uh, really respect their religious belief. And so they give them、um, farmlands for them to farming. And also、uh, because they are、um, Islamic people, they're Muslims.、Uh, the Emperor Zhu Di also sent three other families from Jinan. 是从济南调过来 ，from yeah from Jinan, that's another city in Shandong Province, very close to Dezhou. So sent other、uh, three other families from Jinan to Dezhou Hui ethnic minority people to accompany these、um, uh, these descendants. And later on, they、um, get they married with these local、um, people and.、Uh, They form a、uh, village gradually. So this is how the gravekeeping village formed. Yeah. Um, like that, three thousand seven hundred people, and three thousand seven hundred people in the village. Yeah. Another three thousand seven hundred people, roughly, are in what place? Uh, it's because it's in the middle of the Qing Dynasty. And in the middle of the Qing Dynasty, the Beiying Town was hit by a flood. It 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 was hit by a 的这个后裔啊，就是被迫离开了家乡，沿着运河边呢北上，哎，所以说大部分的后裔啊，现在都是在这个运河沿岸的这些个城市、省份生活。嗯，慢点。There's a stair here. So let's go this way. Let's go to the see the East King's tomb. Oh,、uh, the tomb. Yeah, we haven't seen the tomb yet. Ah,、uh, so 刚才我们说就是 so um. For the other 3,400 people,、uh, because in the ancient times there were two、um, natural disasters, and the whole village was almost destroyed. Yeah. So the villagers were forced to leave this village,、mm-hmm. and they were、um, going north alongside the、uh, Grand Canal.、Yeah. Uh, now they have descendants in Beijing and Tianjin and other major cities. And also Baoding in Hebei Province,、yes. so it's oh they they're all not very far, right? Yeah, they're all still very close. Ah, yes, they're all 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 One and a half hour to go back home and to pay、uh, tribute to their ancestors here.、Yeah. So we can、uh, turn around and have a look at the tomb. This is the tomb of the Sulu king. Yes. The East King of Sulu, ancient Sulu. Yeah. It's very sunny here, and、uh, every year the the July、uh, the June September the、uh, so, September the thirteenth has descendants. From all the can of all the cities all the came country, here、okay. to brief their ancestors、wow. and to give the flowers here. I'm not sure if our、um, audience can hear 
the beautiful melody Spider Birds. Yeah. Let's just stop talking for a second and let them hear the melody because it's really, I feel like it's a different world behind the hall. Here it is very quiet yes. and it's very sacred, mm -hmm. just a tomb and uh, it's very beautiful and quiet here. Yes. Um, there are a lot of birds over there. Yeah. Can we It's a very quiet place. So, um, why do they choose this place to build the tomb? Uh, there is a very little story. Uh -huh. According to a legend, after his death, dies and his uh his sweet home his <laughs> yes sir is uh -huh. to weed the soil mm -hmm. and after work here the soil is harvest so i think it's the best best uh, place to bury his kin and uh, in the meantime the dojo is very development mm -hmm. in uh the industrial and uh, commercial so uh -huh. it is buried here Oh, so to weigh the soil, you mean soil on the ground? The soil very high. Along, along the Grand Canal, right? Yes. So when, that's very interesting. I, I uh, That's a legend or it's real, a yeah. real story? With, with the soil, yeah, oh, it's okay. legend. Oh, okay, so that's very interesting. Uh, to When you weigh the soil, because it has uh, different... It has different nutrition uh, yeah. contents inside. When uh, when the soil is very heavy, it means it have it has more nutrition, m more uh, mineral content in it. It's the the soil is rich. Yeah. That means this is a best place. I think it has something to do with feng shui. Yeah, feng shui. Feng shui because you know, ancient, ancient China <laughs> yeah. they believe in feng shui. And also, I think uh, this place because it's um, very close to the Grand Canal. You know, yeah. Chinese people love water. Yeah. They believe that water and you know river canal they, it can bring uh, good luck mm -hmm. and also in ancient times here is very this place is very uh, close to army right yes to because you know Duozhou city uh, is the gateway to Beijing so you so uh, it was built uh, close to the river, the canal, and also the army. It means this place is safe and also rich. And also, I mean, the soil is very rich here. Yes. So we are back in the courtyard and yes, yes. this way? Yeah. Okay. Let's go to the west hall. The West Hall. Yes. What's in the West Hall? It's happy about the formations between the two countries from 1417 to 2017. 1417 to yes. 2017. That's 600 years. Yeah. Oh, okay. So there are still the, the descendants between these two countries. They are still communicating with each, each other. Oh, yeah. that's wonderful. Do you, do you? Uh, so Anjing, do you still? Um, 您现在还跟, um, 就是菲律宾那边的后裔还有联系吗？有的，我们一直都有联系。呃，从明朝到现在六百多年了，就是中菲两国的这种呃友好交往呀，就是没有一直没有间断过。没有断过。So their communication never ends, uh, between the six hundred years from the Ming Dynasty to nowadays. Oh，那到底什么样的桥？看一下我们这个展厅吧。So let's go inside this hall. It tells more about. Oh, the topic here is actually friendship forever. We can see there are a lot of tourists here. Uh, you know, it's still National Day holiday, so there are still tourists uh, from all over the country. They would travel here and uh, have a look at to visit this museum uh, to have a better uh, understand of this of this this part of history. Friendship forever. That's the uh, the friendship between uh, ancient China and ancient Sulu. This is the three tombs in the... Oh, in the double park. pavilion park. So yeah. these are the three tombs. Uh, we didn't enter that park just now. I think the one in the middle is uh, belongs to Gemuning. That's his wife, the Sulu king's wife. And the left one is... The left one is second son. Second son, Wenhala. The prince, Prince Wenhala. And the right one is... Uh, Andulu, third, third son. son. Yes. Uh, because the, the the eldest son went back to yeah. Sulu. Okay. So frequent exchanges during the rule of Emperor Qianlong. So from Ming Dynasty to Qing Dynasty, they have to still have exchanges. Yes. Ah, uh, that that Andrew, you, what time did you 
，苏禄的后裔是什么时候入籍中国的？嗯、因为现在都是中国人了，是,是吧？啊，对，在一七三一年的时候，一七三一年，一七三一年大概，对，三百多年前，呃，雍正，雍正，呃，那时候一七三一年入籍在中国，以温安两个姓。OK， 啊、呃，因为当时是这个。呃，苏禄王来华访问的时候啊，他是他专门到德州看望当时留下来守墓的后代，当时已经到了第八代了。Oh, 到了第八代，第八代守墓人了。因为当时的守墓的这些后代呢，呃，在德州以客居的身份已经住了三百年了。嗯、okay. 啊，这么长时间了，呃，当时就是说想一直长居到德州了，不想回去了。这样呢，他们就是呃，借着苏禄王来华的这个呃事情吧，就是想那个提出了一个请求， okay. 想入籍中国。啊，想入籍中国， okay. 这样，嗯、呃，就是皇帝下了一道旨，嗯、啊，就是以温安二姓让留下了，对，赐姓，对，入籍，就这样，就是中国人，中华民族的一员了，中华民族的一员。嗯、so like three over over three hundred years ago, back when back in 1731, that's uh in the so in the rule of King Yongzheng, Yongzheng. right, Emperor Yongzheng in Qing Dynasty, um, so. Back then,、uh, the Sulu king came came here to visit China and came here to visit these descendants. And these descendants is actually the eighth generation of the descendants.、Mm -hmm. They talk to the king, saying that they want to be a member of the Chinese people because they they no longer want to go back to Sulu. You know, it's far, and they're already the eighth generation. So Emperor Yongzheng actually gave them Chinese citizenship after three hundred. Uh, 300 years later, after、uh, the death of the、uh, East King of Sulu, right?、Yeah. So、um, they gave him Chinese names. Wen An,、uh, Wen and An are the、yeah. two surnames because you know the the two princes,、uh, uh, the sons of the Sulu King, the East King of Sulu, Wen Hala、uh, and、uh, An Dulu. So they choose the first character of their name. Wen and An as their Chinese surnames, and、uh, they have lived ever since in China for another three hundred years as, China, as Chinese citizen. Yeah. Ah,、oh, wow. 但是从那个之后，这个公主的身份是不是就想没有什么，<笑>就不是公主了？是不是？ Oh, 也是，也是。现在在苏禄那边，呃，有这个也是呃世袭制的一个王位，有苏丹王啊、okay. 皇太子啊这些称谓。Okay. 不过就是不参政，有这些称谓啊。Oh, uh, so they don't have political power anymore. Ah,、uh, back, ah,、uh, still back in ah,、uh, uh, Philippines in Sulu, but they still have the princess, prin, princess and princesses here. Um. These are this、uh, are in the message King, left by came to China and after saw the East the East King tomb after she saw his descendants to write some feelings out、oh. here. Okay, so each、um, the Philippines king the, the Sulu king came here to visit China. They will leave a message here.、Right? Yes. That's in 1997. Yeah. 1995, 1995, and that one was. Ah.、Uh, What what time was that? Oh, 1995. Okay. Wow. These pictures are in 2003. This one, I'm deeply grateful for this opportunity to visit the two of the. Uh, this this the. the so improve. And I noticed that they are all using like brushes. Yeah. You know, Chinese traditional way. Of writing the calligraphy to write English <laughs> English words here.、Yes. That's very interesting. A combination of two different cultures、mm -hmm. on on the same paper.、Yeah. Okay, and、uh, these are recent years, right? Yeah. We can、here. tell from the、uh, pictures that this is very new.、Yeah. Um, What kind? What what other、uh, communications do you have?、Mm -hmm. 就是这些都是比较官方的一些、mm -hmm. 呃政政治的交流。Mm -hmm. 那像您自己作为一个后裔和那边的后裔，还有什么就是私自民间的交流吗？ Mm -hmm. 那我们是相互之间都加了微信啊，信和那边的公主啊，人们都有微信联系。因为以前的时候都是靠书信来往的、mm -hmm. 啊，现在随着科技的发展嘛，我们都已经互相加了微信了。特别的方便啊！所所以逢年，这菲律宾那边也也用微信的是吗？哎，对，也用用的，嗯、哦，也用微信。逢年过节就是问个好，呃，问候一下，嗯、呃哦。像这个中秋，您有没有给他们在
发个信息。嗯、呃，发信息了。都发信息了。对对对。Wow. So, uh, Anjing, the princess, told me that she still has a, uh, you know, WeChat. Uh, information from the uh, Philippines descendants, the the, the uh, in Philippines island, um, they are WeChat friends, and they will send message to each other uh, during the festivals, holidays. Um, you know, two days ago it was Mid Autumn Festival in China, and she texted uh, the other descendants in Sulu, and uh, you know, just greetings, give them best wishes from her family to their families. Careful there. Um, so this is the uh, West Hall, and also, how can we? I mean, it's already six hundred years has have passed, right? So how do we tell our next generation to remember this part of history? 就是六百年已经过去了，像您是十九代孙，现在可能已经传承的更呃，现在到二十二代，现在已经到二十二代，生活在德州的后裔啊，到了二十二代，已经到二十二代。我们怎么教给这个年轻人？呃，让他们也知道这段历史，因为我我。他们会不会觉得说六百年前的事情自己可能没有这么清楚、嗯？这个我们是怎么传承下去的？呃，没有，我们都世代都非常清楚的。嗯，呃，呃关于这个中非两国的这些这个交流呢，是你像菲律宾，他们有一个光启中学，嗯、呃，从二零一六年开始呀、啊，他们都要组织呃学生到华来这个进行汉语和中外文化交流的学习。嗯、那么其中一站呢，就是我们苏鲁文化博物馆。OK。啊。那么就是通过我们的讲解呢，呃，可以让这些学生们去了解、感受这个中国的这个悠久的历史和灿烂的文化。Oh, okay. 这个苏鲁王不远万里啊，前来这个呃中国友好访问，他们就是说呃不幸啊去世在葬在这里了对对对。那么我们的大明朝呢，当时以高规格的葬礼啊、呃，把这个东王安葬在德州的。嗯、这样呢，我们的当时。嗯，展现了我们这个呃中华的这种呃海纳百川，嗯、这个呃宽广豁达的这种胸怀，呃接纳包容的这种广阔的情怀，嗯、让他们去呃了解这一点、嗯，要感受一下我们中华民族这个、嗯、呃优优良的传统。哎、嗯嗯嗯呃，对于我们生活在德州的这样的下一代，我先我先跟观众翻译一下。好、嗯 oh. ，That's a that's a long sentence. So she just told told me. That uh, uh, they are still passing on all these information, the history to their next generations. For example, uh, there is a Xavier School uh, in uh, in the Philippines, in the Sulu. That is an or that that is an international school, right?、Yeah. It's very famous.、Yes. So every year since 2016, is it 2016? 2016. Since 2016, they send students here into、uh, to China every year during the vacation to learn about、uh, this history. They will visit other countries like Beijing and Tianjin, you know, to trace back to their ancestors to,、uh, you know, to seek for their root、mm -hmm. and.、Um, So they will come here to visit this museum to know about the the story of the East King of Sulu, how he came here, how he ended up here, and know the friendship between these two countries. And talking about the、uh, descendants here in China.、Uh, Let's ask her. 让我您再跟我们讲说在中国啊，对对。那么对于我们生活在德州的这些后裔的下一代呢、嗯，我们就是要继承和发扬我们的这个祖先苏鲁王啊、嗯呃，不远万里是吧？不畏艰险，不畏艰难，不远万里带着和平和友好来到中国的这种精神。嗯、那么我们要一代一代的传承下去。Uh, mm. So for descendants still living in Dezhou,、uh, in China, they just teach them、uh, the 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 spirit of the East King of Sulu. How、uh, so? No wonder how hard it is.、Uh, he he was so brave, and、uh, he brings the friendship、um, from from the Philippines to China, and then、um, how to to tell them to respect this history and、uh, the spirit.、Yes. Uh, So that's the、uh, West West Hall. Okay. 呃、uh, ，那那个，嗯、um, ，安静主任，我想问您一下， oh. 您在这边工作多少多长时间了？呃、uh, ，我是九九年到管理参加工作的，二十多年了。Wow. So、uh. she has been working in this museum since 1999. It's over 20 years. 您这二十多年，您看到这里有什么变化吗？呃、uh, ，变化非常大。呃，可以说是翻天覆地的变化。翻天覆地。嗯，对对对。Great changes during the twenty years. 嗯，是怎么变化？它过去的时候哈，我们这个地方是杂草丛生。哦、oh.。真是啊、嗯
。呃，这些年吧，通过这个国家文物局和呃省市各级政府的这个高度重视啊。嗯嗯对我们这个苏鲁王墓进行这个保护和修葺、嗯，嗯，呃，那么尤其是二零一四年以来吧、嗯嗯，呃，通过社会捐助和我们这个、嗯、呃上级部门的这个拨款啊，嗯，嗯对我们苏鲁王墓有一个整个的景观提升。包括我们的文物保护啊，你像那个刚才看到的石像生、哦，我们对它本着修旧如旧的原则， okay. 让它展现以前的这个呃历史的这个风貌、哦。所以那些是已经被修缮过的。对对对， okay. 修缮过的啊、嗯，包括我们这个展陈布展、嗯，你看到展陈布展都是中英文对照的嘛？对对对就是因为现在我们这个呃方便这个海外游客的参观嘛，哦、让他们对对对,对,对，我们把这个换成。中中就用英文对照的。对，嗯嗯。Actually, this is another、uh, interesting fact that I noticed here. So, you know, as I said before, Dezhou is not such a big city、uh, in China as you may know, commonly know. But、uh, every every information I see here has two languages. Every introduction, it has Chinese introduction and also English in the introduction is bilingual. So. That's easier for the、uh, tourists from all over the world、uh, to to know about the history here.、Uh. And also, she told me that you know there are there have been great changes during the 20 years. And、uh, 20 years before, this place is not so modern. It's not so big.、Uh, there are wild grasses everywhere. But especially after 19.、Uh, 二呃 ，two thousand and four， 二零零四年，二零一四，二零一四年 ，twenty fourteen。So especially after twenty fourteen， 呃 ，it has received a lot of funds from the、uh, government， and also it received a benefit funds from the society、um,。People are、um, paying highly、uh, respect of this culture of the history， and、uh, they rebuilt this museum， and also the、uh, you know the、uh, stone sculptures we saw outside the museum along the hallway。It was also、uh, rebuilt. It's it's renovated. It's not rebuilt. It's renovated,、uh, renovated old stuff、uh, in the ancient way. So it doesn't look like modern.、Uh, it still the、uh, keeps the original style. 嗯，那您刚才说这个游客现在也是越来越多，是吧？自从这个修缮之后，对对,对,对，正因为我们有了这样的变化，嗯、所以说我们的游客量越来越多。嗯、呃，从可以说以前的门可罗雀到现在，我们差不多年接待量是六万多人。哇！嗯，那么有好多都是慕名而来的。Okay. 嗯。乘坐着这个高铁嘛、嗯，哎，慕名而来。因为在我们这个德州的火车站啊，嗯、呃，到德州站的时候就有一个关于景点的介绍，嗯、就有我们这个苏鲁、哦对对对个，呃，苏鲁王墓啊，他们好多都听到这个介绍啊、呃 okay. 而来的。嗯 ，OK， so there have been， 呃、uh, ， they they've seen a large， 呃、uh, ， rise increase of the， 呃、uh, ， tourist amount。Uh, since 2014,、oh. after it's renovated, because you know the high-speed railway is connected、uh, with Dezhou City, and for me,、uh, when I got when I got out of the train in the train station, I saw a big、um, advertisement of the、uh, the Sulu the Sulu tomb, the Sulu King's tomb here in Dezhou City, and a lot of tourists from all over the world. They know this place and they want to、uh, know more about the history.、Uh, so they came here to visit this museum and to visit the tomb of the、uh, Sulu king. And she just said a、uh, annual、um, the amount of、uh, of tourists here can reach sixty thousand sixty thousand tourists every year to. To to visit this museum is six thousand people every year, right? Yes, yes. Like before, there were no more people. Ah, before 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 there were no Necessary, so、uh, she said there are multiple ways to promote this museum, to promote this culture, and also the、uh, connection of the high-speed railway. You know, it can, it, it is the busiest、uh, high-speed railway in China. It connects Beijing to Shanghai. So actually, it's not only the two most important cities in China, but also you know the Beijing, Tianjin, Hebei province,、uh, and also the. Um, uh, 
the Shanghai, uh, Suzhou, Hangzhou, the, the circle. So it can, it's like a, uh, the busiest economic corridor in China. Uh, so it brings more uh, tourists here to, to uh, pay respect to, to this culture, to this museum. We haven't, we haven't checked this place. So what is this monument? This monument. monument. Yeah, it's monument. Uh, friendship between the two countries, and this is Chinese, and uh -huh. this is English, airing from airplane from Philippines in the 1996. Oh, so in 1996, this part is originally from the Philippines. Yes. And it's a whole piece of iron, right? Yeah, iron. Oh, okay. And this is a Chinese translation. Yes, this is white marbles. White area. marbles. Yeah. Wow. So. It says the uh, friendship between the two, the, the two countries, witness a witness of the friendship. Yes. So I think that's everything from this museum. Thank you so much for joining us, both of you too. Uh, we are going, so today, like I said, today is the third day of our China Express program. And I'm taking the uh, Beijing Shanghai Railway, uh, high speed railway, all the way from Beijing to Shanghai. I'll tour along the beautiful sceneries and also the fa fascinating culture along the way. Dezhou City is my first stop in Shandong province. I will keep going south um, by taking the high speed railway. I'm going to Shanghai uh, this afternoon and we'll have more live streamings and more videos, reports from there. So stay Stay tuned if you want to know more about China's high-speed railway or if you want to know more about China's culture, information, uh, follow CGTN on all social media platforms and search for uh, China Express. You can um, follow our trip. So thank you for watching. Stay tuned. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.